One day, you'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me <laughs> we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh! Yeah, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? <laughs> no! Right you alright, brother? <laughs> Yo, I love Fallout 4, dog. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's going on, you guys, man? We are back on some Fallout. Oh. <laughs> and all right, buddy. You're definitely about to get dropped again. I'm sorry, Strong. I love Strong's dialogue, though, but I don't know. I'm, I don't really dig him as a companion, but I love his dialogue. I'm not gonna lie. This man's hilarious. Like, he's a dope, hilarious companion, but battle-wise, you feel me? I don't know. But we are back in some more fallouts. As I can see from the last time, we handled all that brotherhood stuff. Um, man, I guess in a way, I kind of try to take a break from this game. But I just couldn't. You know, like, this game is so enjoyable, y'all. And if I really wanted to finish it for real, which I definitely can, I would kind of have to, like, skip a good amount of side quests and all that. You feel me? Just refocus on the main quests. But um, I'm going to see what we're going to do out the way. But we're just going to get this episode started. First and foremost, we're going to continue with the main mission. I'm not going to lie. Every time I hop in this game, y'all, the first one of the first things I think about is satellite array. Me catching my get back in satellite array. And I don't think I don't think they got anything on me now, to be honest. I could call upon the artillery and I could call upon the the bird from the brotherhood. So, you know, I they were just maybe this episode we're gonna get a get back in satellite array y'all maybe but first and foremost we're gonna continue with the main quest um there's a whole lot of other radio frequencies that i've been ignoring oh but it did say support the brotherhood recon team huh first and foremost let's go over there real quick but let's get piper back we gotta drop Piper off to the castle. I need to build another artillery somewhere close to Satellite Array, y'all, to be honest. So that's most likely what we're about to do. I'm about to see right now. Piper, okay, there we go. I was about to say, I believe I sent you to the castle. Well, this place is something. All right. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Nah, this human's soft, weak, not live long. <laughs> hey now, big boy. I know a couple of your brothers that say different. <laughs> oh my god, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Stark's dialogue, dog. It's so fascinating and hilarious. Alright, so let's get going. Um Where is satellite array? There's some places I need to build defenses in. There's satellite array. Let me see if I could build a quick mortar right by it. So I could destroy that place, bro. <laughs> In all honesty, dog, I need to get my get back, and I'm definitely ready for that. Let me see if I have the equipment, the tools. I know there's a workshop nearby. Yeah. Okay. I believe I can build one. Yes, sir. Satellite array is about to get destroyed. Um. Maybe this episode. I need to find somebody. I know there's two people here. There's one taking care of the fields, and where's the other one? Oh, they're both taking care of the fields. Assigned to food. Go ahead and go to this. Yep. So we assign him to that, right? This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> but since we assign him to that, I thought we was about to wait for satellite array, but y'all ain't no waiting. We're about to go to store. We're about to we're about to go to store that man. We're about to go take care of that right now. <laughs> and I don't know Piper is the best choice, but I think I think we're good. I think we're stronger now. So we're gonna call upon the flare gun. All right. Um, I am gonna equip this artillery smoke. What else? We're gonna call the better bird. Nice. We already got one near us, that's a funny thing. Oh shoot, it's about to be crazy. I wanna try this artillery on them though. Hold on. Oh yeah, we're stronger now. 
I'm sorry. We're stronger now. Oh, I am. Oh. I hope that was not my vertebrae. I don't know. I don't even know. I just threw this artillery smoke out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. We got the mini man here with us, bro. This is an all out war. This is so epic, y'all. I love this. A lot. I believe I have a sniper. Wasn't there somebody up here? We're gonna have to clear the scene out of this peep. Because I called upon the artillery. I don't know when it's dropping yet. Oh. Oh. I think it's coming. Come on. Oh, yeah. We're taking care of these guys today. This is our get back, bro. This is our get back, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's here, y'all. It's here. Did we take care of all of them? No. Oh no, I think I aimed it wrong though, because dang, it's only attacking the top. I know I caught upon on one of those birds. They did not see the signal. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a way higher level now. Oh my god. Somebody just got destroyed. I just seen a body just fly. I love this, bro. This game is honestly epic. Okay, we got no more ammo. We're just going to go closer. Right arm bone. Wow. We're just going to go closer and kill that man. Whip out our shotgun on him. Feast on your flesh. Right. Human. Right. I'm a higher level now. I was waiting for this day to get my revenge. Okay, let me heal before this revenge turns out to be for not. I just remember, bro. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and quick save because we're not about to fold here. Let me go ahead and run. Let me go ahead and run. Yeah, we're not about to fold here. I did all this. And I forgot to bring some health with me, bro. Oh, no. Hmm. I forgot I was in an intense battle. I don't know. You guys, you guys take care of him, please. Piper, I don't know. Somebody killed him. I need some health. Maybe I got caught a flare gun again. Let's see if I got some mini man that's gonna come help me out with this box. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, so I got wrecked. But we did quick save, so it's not for nothing. Oh shoot, it's a brotherhood knight. Wow, this man got destroyed. Oh nice, he got a stem pack. Let's go. Okay, so we're back in action. We're back in action. Honestly, did not, did not think I was about to um, go back to satellite array so soon. I'm trying to see if there's any brotherhood that's even come. Let me quick save. Ah, uh, Piper's down. That's tough. I'm going to get a better bird soon. Hopefully, they come as soon as possible, y'all. Oh, shoot. He's right down there. Come on, Vertebird. 
I need you, brother bird. Okay, it's coming. My help is here. Let's go. All right, <laughs> my help is here. <laughs> Let's go. Do I have any grenades? Oh, that was terrible aim. This man got precise aim. Yes. Let's go. Go ahead and take care of that man for me, please. I don't know what type of battle this is. Tell me this out of hold on. Okay, yeah, okay, bet. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. I thought that was about to leave me, y'all. I was about to get so hot, bro. Yes. Yes. Come on, let's go. Let's fly. Open the map and select a destination for it. I mean, we're at the destination, buddy. Are you kidding me? What is this, bro? No. Are you kidding me, bro? What is this, a robot? I got a quick save because this is just honestly ridiculous. Wow. Like, when I thought I was good, I thought the verb bear was going to fly and about to, like, drill stuff, bro, with the minigun. Like, this is honestly ridiculous. Like, why is there a robot? I think I see what I gotta do, y'all. This is so weird, bro. Oh my gosh, give me a break. I'm just trying to find some help at this point. <laughs> I'm just trying to find some help, y'all. Oh no, this office. I'm not gonna find no help for these zombies. I like how it says and they don't respond though. Hold on, what type of sorry for is it? I actually want to try that out. Oh wow. That's hard. You telling me I missed this from the beginning? What type of ammo this takes? It's hard. We're so close, y'all. We're so close to clearing our satellite array. Okay, let's sleep and then let's see if that restores my health. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go back outside. I think we're rested now. We should be able to finish off satellite, bro. I like how after you clear the area, they don't just spawn back in. Who is Mr. Gutsy shooting at? Ah, this man right here. Okay, bet. <laughs> I might as well take the advantage. Let's go i think we cleared it now mr gutsy where you at okay hopefully mr gutsy's not worried about me i think we cleared it hold on what is this nice we finally cleared the satellite child wow that was so satisfying that was definitely worth it that was definitely worth it
So I guess we're gonna we're gonna continue on now with the main quest. I'm just looking for this man's body. I don't know where his body is. Okay, there we go. I want to see what he has. That marksman is not bad. I believe I probably. Oh, you got a scope in that thing. Is this a press? Oh, it's a sniper rifle. That boy had a missile launcher on him too. Hmm. This man's missile launcher got a suppressor. Not a suppressor, a reflex sight. That's dope. Yeah, Piper Brain. Come over here and grab this missile launcher, please. Grab anything useful. Uh huh. Nice, she grabbed the missile. Um, so whenever I need that, we'll do that. So let's definitely. See, now the Brotherhood got something going on over here. Let's definitely bang it. And we're gonna have to do this Dr. Miri Crest. Let me see what this support on the Brotherhood does. I do got a perk I need to level up. Hey there. All right, out with it. What's your game? I hope I haven't offended you again. Offended? Hardly. I'm just trying to figure you out. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Outstanding. Let me see. Clear out College Square. So basically that's College Square, okay. I think we'll definitely worry about that later. <laughs> Let me just level up real quick, y'all, then we're gonna head to the nurse. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that is so hard, mysterious stranger. Aylin? Ree still giving you the cold shoulder. I wish we can see eye to eye. Reese only sees one thing. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shuts. Uh-huh. Is there something between the two of you? That's none of your business. Look, just give Reese some time. I'm sure he'll see you're a valuable member of the team and he'll come around. I think I gotta upgrade so, my sauce. Are you ready to take on your first assignment? Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have here. This should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck and be careful. Interesting. More missions. All right. Man, wish I was back at HQ. I feel a lot safer with the Pridwin hovering over my head. I'm guessing he wants me to clear this place out. But that's a problem for another time, ain't I right? Right now, let's continue on the main mission. I've been craving to do some of that. I do need more, um... Oh my gosh, if I pray, don't even worry about that. I am not wasting my ammo on these guys.
Raiders come. I'm gonna see just trying to get to this other side of Raiders come. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hyper, don't even worry about it. Yo. So I see, I think they're just making me go around. Oh my god. Well, it seems like I gotta use a stem pack. Well, I'm getting attacked on both sides, dog. Exactly why we have shotguns, man. Let me see. I need some health. I need some health, man. Throw me some health, dog. I need to get to the doctor. I hope I'm going the right way. Recoil compensated. Let me see. Let me see how this compensated assault rifle looks like. Hmm. How much damage does it do? It's not bad. Where's Piper? I'm gonna wait for Piper so I can give this to her. Let's sleep a little bit. Cause right now I got no meds, so I just gotta sleep this, sleep it off, bro. I could easily find some, but I'm just being a little stubborn. Okay, Piper, where are you? It says failed, dang. I didn't know the time had an effect in this. Let's sleep to the morning. Well, if y'all, if there's some running around and, you know, a couple, oh, some nuke just went out somewhere. I was about to say, who is that? After some running around and you know, oh, we see where to go. I just want to see what's up here. After some running around and after some dying, you know, a couple times, almost losing my mind, we found out where to go. All right, Batesta. <laughs> Dang, I should have quick save. Uh, I think the game saved for me. I should be good. <laughs> okay, the game saved for me at the very least. It's a good thing when you use stem packs, it saves for you, bro. That is a very good thing. This is ridiculous. Like, what, bro? Like, wow. But we made it, y'all. We made it. Okay, doctor, don't make this harder than it has to be. I'm just here. Uh, to meet up with you. I'm just here to talk some business. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? They spawn me in right in front of these guys just like that. Dang. Don't I, I picked up two stem packs. Piper, go ahead and take care of that. They still there. I can't even aim. Okay, I'm good now. We're just gonna full send it. 
Oh. Okay. Molotov it is. Oh man, give me a break. <laughs> give me a break. Okay, so they got sent back. Piper. Now I got the bape. I want to keep this in the video or not. Tuh. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it, y'all. Ridiculous as that was, that's how we do it. I guess it's harder to find this man than I thought it would be. Wow, it just brought me. Are you kidding me? Am I tweaking? I was just over here, right? Okay, I might just have to take that elevator that I seen. I really hope we're going the right way now. It is honestly tedious. Okay, it's honestly really tedious, y'all. Wow, I'm going around in circles. I think I'm gonna have to do some research. I know I said I think I, I thought I found it last time, but this time I think I probably found it. I think it's somewhere around here, but I'm not sure. Hold on. Okay. Let me see if it's in here, bro. Or if it just tells me to go back outside. Okay, so it's telling me to go back outside. So it's not in here. But it's somewhere nearby, though. They make it so hard on purpose, bro. These guys are so green. So what? Is it somewhere around here? Oh, hold on. Did I find it? It's on this other side, I think. Well, up, you guys, I finally seem to have found this doctor that does not want to be found, bro. It doesn't make any sense, y'all. I'm gonna be completely real. It don't make sense, bro. I hope I found it this time, bro. Like, wow, like, bro, I was getting a little annoyed. I'm not gonna lie, I had to do some research. I could not find that place alone. Yes. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Huh. Bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. If someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, you'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me <laughs> we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh! God, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? <laughs> No. You all right, brother? <laughs> Yo, I love Fallout 4, dog. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident take your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I feel you, huh? Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool. <laughs> Be part of the neighborhood so long as you remember who 
Charge. Oh, nah, buddy. You got it, bro. I don't want no smoke. I appreciate you for letting me loot this guy right here, though. Damn, now I'm carrying too much. For the taking. Yep. And all right. Um, Piper, I need you to pick up one of my weapons. All right. Um... Hancock, you got that. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that. We come in peace, Malarkey. I mean, I am part of the Brotherhood of Steel, I'm not gonna lie, but we're not gonna tell these guys that. Forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. <laughs> Downstairs, you big flirt. All right, we here, Valentine. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Yeah, I'll let Nick explain. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. I'll take a look, but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Hmm. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. <laughs> I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're let's ready, get Mr. it. Valentine, just sit down. If oh, this seems like it's about to be like crazy. An old mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. 
run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you okay. on the other side. Not for real. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, Piper, just stare at me. Awkwardly. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. Can you hear me? Ah, oh, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Interesting. Okay. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. So I didn't guess it. Okay. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. Wow. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boot? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. Oh my god. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. You right. need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. Can't forget about I, God. I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may wow. think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Wow. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever it's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like this man sound like he's speaking some real stuff it's gonna be fine you'll see i was the worst thing that ever happened to her if she'd never met me she'd have stayed in the hub 
Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I... Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No. Mm. I never deserved her. Not for one second. Come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, hmm. Billy. Okay, so this disappearance out of sure really happy here. Nice. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that one. But it's really showing his past and it seems really interesting, y'all. Like this man seemed like he had a tough past. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Oh, wow, his family died. Wow. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Hold on, am I going backwards? Nah. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. So this man was basically an assassin. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Interesting. Mr. Hello. I'm glad oh, you decided shoot. to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. 
I don't know, I gotta access these You heard these all numbers. sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. We do. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. Mm. They still give me the creeps, but... You have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Oh, shoot. That boy Kellogg don't play. System is offline. That boy Kellogg don't Impressive. play. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Nah, for real. This is getting real interesting. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual oh, shoot. initiated. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. How's now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth? If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Vault computers are still working. The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Wow. This is the one. Wow, that's my wife. Or ex. <laughs> Open it. So, was there somebody after me then? <coughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. Wow. I'm not giving you Sean. God oh my damn. God. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Wow. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. All right. 
I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... Hmm. Never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. We're good. There's no I'm, good, bro. Uh, or better. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Wow. Oh, we're getting closer and closer, yeah. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Oh, shoot, I had a feeling. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. Ah, oh, man. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. So, what now? Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. are gonna roll for this capture and return or just elimination elimination he was working on a highly classified program no kidding one of the top bioscience boys damn so I guess you're taking the kid back with you affirmative your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil you're taking me home to my father Oh, so Sean, yes. you stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X six eighty eight, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Oh my gosh. Bye. Wow. Teleportation. Wow. Now it all makes sense. They could teleport. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. So we're going to have to find a way to teleport then. Side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. That How is crazy. It's all over, 
I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. A magic Navigating and radioactive soup. hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Hmm. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. Yeah. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged wow. Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Wow, that is so crazy, y'all. Uh, things are getting... I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean... Look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? Hmm. It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. Night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I... We grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. Wow. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. When you think about it, do the mayor have a part to play with the institution? Ah. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but 
knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired You're up You're definitely sometimes. rambling. It's Can't just lie. nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? But you know I'm here so, for you, Piper. Should we head out? Yeah. Well, I'll take these stem packs and this rad axe. Anything else you got here for me? Verified water, wonder glue, bottle caps. All right, dope, dope. Nice. Nice, I knew this was important. Ooh. Well, I appreciate you. That was very nice. Hmm. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for. In oh, my head. gosh. Wow. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine. So that was kind of creepy, yeah. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I don't trust Ryan Time at all. Mm. I'm gonna keep see you Piper. Around, Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Right. All right. Well, we did that, y'all. As y'all can see, things are getting really interesting, and I just realized somebody chilling here. Okay, dope. But we're gonna end the episode right here. It wasn't as much as you know, maybe action as y'all will probably want to see, but it was a lot of getting into the story, and that was really dope. That was really nice. To really just get more of the story this is awesome i'm not gonna lie i'm enjoying this and you know i do hope you guys enjoy this episode as well you know in the next episode we're gonna attack we're gonna go you know we're gonna continue attacking the main quest and we're gonna go with um to that water or whatever it's called i don't even know but y'all know what i'm talking about that radiation place but hey man without further ado i do hope you guys enjoy don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy, Fazo. And as always, man, I love y'all. And God bless y'all. And tap in the Discord, man. Let's get it. We gone.